Hey everybody, welcome back to Lutheran Tool, and today we have something pretty special for you. If you watch some of my other videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of WISE. They've disrupted the industry in home security with their cameras, PTZ cameras, HD cameras. They've really done a lot, and their Wi-Fi cameras as well, so you can see them all over the world. Well, they've done that in a few other industries as well. They've worked on headphones, wireless headphones, Bluetooth headphones, um, and they're competing against Bose. I did buy some of those, and they're absolutely fantastic. I ventured out in some of their um, other realms, such as the video doorbell, which works fantastic. It's wired. So they ma they're making a lot of quality products, so I found value in investing in some of the ventures that they've done, and now they're trying to disrupt the industry of vacuums, and specifically this is the cordless compact handheld um, vacuum. Now some of the claims on this vacuum are, are pretty outstanding, so let me just call some of those out. This has uh, 150 AW, which is 24,000 PA suction power. That's really powerful. That is on the same level as Dyson. Um, this has a 110,000 rotation per minute brushless digital motor, so it's a smart motor. Up to uh, 50 minutes of runtime per battery. Now, it's really cool because the batteries are interchangeable, so you can buy extra batteries and just keep going so it's not integrated. Um, and the cool thing about this is, which our family's really going to enjoy, it's only 2.8 pounds. So I've used the Ryobis, I've used some of the Hoovers, um, and this is super light uh, and it's supposed to be super powerful. So we're really going to get uh, a lot of bang for our buck out of this one. This is also, it also has running LEDs in the front of it and it has six of them and they're all in line on the bottom. So you're really going to be able to see the dust and dander and things kicking up from the floor. You're going to be able to see inside of the tight crevices when you get to corners as well. So you make sure that you actually get those clean. It also comes with a wall mount, uh, different attachments. It only It's supposed to take only 50 minutes to charge the battery completely, which is super nice, especially uh, if you only have one battery. Um, and it has three different power levels. Now, with all that being said, and all the specifications and all the great marketing that this has, it really needs to perform. So today we're going to go through this, let's unbox it, and then we're going to put it through a performance test as well. And I'm going to do a very basic performance test with this. Right here I have a typical uh, a typical carpet here that I got from Home Depot. It's from the scrap section. I have a mixture of dirt and sand. Uh, and I'm going to mark the level on here of where it's at in the GIF cup. I'm going to pour it all in here and I'm going to really work it into the carpet. And then I'm going to go over it with a vacuum. We're going to pour it back into the carpet. We're going to see how much we actually recover. And uh, you'll see how well this does on carpet. Now this does work on hard floors and things like that. So that being said, we're going to start from the hard floor. And then we're going to work straight onto the carpet. We're going to see how much we recover. So we're going to get the best of both worlds here. So stick around. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So as we get into the unboxing of this, the great thing I like about the disruption of industry with this particular brand is that they don't overcharge you and they don't gouge you. Since I bought this early, I got this for $150. Now granted, it's not going to be $150 forever. That's just an entry fee, or just an entry. So as you can see here, it says I backed the Wise Cordless Vacuum. That's because I was one of the first people uh, to really invest. but. <clears throat> With a comparable vacuum from Dyson, it's you know five hundred dollars. So you know, really getting a good value out of this if the specifications are true. So you can see, uh, it doesn't look like much here. But let's start unpackaging it. This, this is the wand here, and it does have power that goes down the shaft. So it isn't uh, you know air driven. You are on the agitator itself. You should have power down there with a motor. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, yep, so this everything's built in right here, so the motor is down here. Um, oh, here we go, check this out. Oh, look at that. So it's push button. It's a push button clean, so you actually just press that little button there and it comes out so you can clean it out and get all the hair and gunk and whatever you need to get out of here. Wow, that's actually really cool. You see that, Em? Okay, so looks like this. This is the mount here, so it will hang on the wall. It does have a hook 
Uh, so we'll mount this to the wall. You have two attachments here. Okay, next thing that we have, we do have the crevice tool. Yeah, so this is nice. I mean, it, it's small. So what do you want to do? So I guess you could take the shaft off. We'll test this out in a minute. So it looks like they're taking their cues from Dyson here uh, because you do have a flat uh, tool here as well for a smooth surface and then it doubles as a brush tool as well. Cool thing about this is it does have a little felt right at the end there. Well, that's hard to see. Then you have the power cord right here so this charge directly into the battery itself. You don't have a separate charger and I can only assume that this will charge um, yeah, so when you have your charger here, the cord goes in just like that, and you just pull it up and you charge it. It couldn't be more simple, and I like simple. Simple's easy. And the most expensive part where the magic happens. This is the tool itself on top. is really nice. Uh, this is mostly plastic, I would say. Uh, let's see, let's move this. You know, first impressions of this, uh, it seems very tight. Um, it, it isn't rickety. Um, what that means, there's not a lot of play in between the seams. Uh, everything seems tight. I do have a few levers here. Let's see what they do. Okay, so that just opened this. So I pull this lever. It popped right open. You see it didn't stick. I also have this lever here. Okay, so that takes off the entire canister. Uh, and let's try to dissect the canister. So it does have a uh, a little knob on the bottom, and if we pop that open real quick, uh, that is a scrubber for inside. So as you're going, and this gets clogged, I did some research on this before. Oh, there we go. So as you're vacuuming and this gets clogged up, and that's those little bitty perforated holes in the steel filter inside, you can turn this, and it's hard to see. But what that does, it moves the screen inside and that pulls all the dust away so you don't have to take this apart, you don't have to empty it. So just because the screen is clogged, um, that doesn't mean you have to stop vacuuming because you're not going to fill this canister up all the way. So that is this pretty ingenious uh, engineering, I would say for sure. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. I, on the back of it here, I have two little pinch points. I pull that off, so this is the battery and the charger all in one and this also has the digital display built into it so I would say this is probably 70 percent of your cost for the entire thing this is the charger the controller this is everything that you need for the battery and that's where it plugs in right there so we can just push it back okay so it has 90 percent battery right now it's on medium Okay, that's turbo, that's eco, and that's medium. Okay, so what I will say about this, since you have three different power levels, it's showing that you have an advertised uh, 50 minutes runtime. I can guarantee you that is not on turbo. That is probably on eco. So I would say on medium, you're probably going to get maybe 40 minutes of runtime, and on turbo, you may get you know 20 to 25 minutes of runtime so I would say you probably need to look into buying a couple extra batteries uh, if you have a larger house let's see all the fit goes together okay so here we go all right that snapped in really nicely let's get this here that snapped in super easy so let's see what this looks like when we turn it on All right, so the motor down here automatically kicked on. So you have the suction up at the top and the head. Uh, it transferred power down, and this powered the motor down here for the agitator um, down at the bottom. So that worked out really well. Let's see if we can't get some of the basic tools to attach to both systems. Okay, so this has a really good snap onto it. This fits in there really nice, so I don't see that being a problem. And it's a typical... Uh, just a round hole, so I think you'll be able to get some of the other accessories from other manufacturers if you really wanted to in there. So that's nice that it fits there. Let's see if it fits on the wand as well. And 
and it's the same fitment, so there's no issues there. And I do have to say, this is this is pretty light. I mean, this this is not. I don't see this being a problem. This is a lot lighter than some of my other uh, tools that I have. Um, and let's just take a quick look here. This is the max line right at the bottom, so you don't want to get on the perforation where the filter is. Uh, let's take a look at the filter, actually. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside. We can pull that right out. So this is a HEPA filter right here. Um, and then we have the screen down at the bottom. Let's see if you can see the inside. You can see that turning. That's what turns and it cleans uh, the filter off inside. So you're not going to have any issues there with uh, cleanliness. So I think the last thing that we need to do, let's just put this thing through it through the motions and try and get up all the sand and dirt. All right, so that worked out pretty well. Uh, just to let you know, a point of reference, here is the line of how much dirt I actually put into it. Let's take this off. So you can tell there's a lot of dirt in there, uh, but there's, n there's not much left over here. And if I look down the tube, there's not much dust in there. So it did a good job transferring the dirt into here now this is pretty full as you can see look at that all right so what we want to do we're actually going to take this all the way off and get some of that in here I need to. There we go. All right, so the moment of truth is here. Let's make sure we level the dirt out inside. All right, so there it is right there. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting. Let's see. Do you got it? So it looks like there's about a quarter of an inch of dirt that was left in the carpet somewhere. Okay, so am I surprised with this? Actually, I am pretty surprised. Now, there were some rocks in this dirt and sand that I pushed to the side, which may have affected the level a little bit. However, just losing a quarter inch of dirt, that is a, a you know a woven carpet. It's a typical carpet. So there is an underlayment under the back, which you can get a lot of this stuck in. And I really rubbed it in there. We walked on it. So I, I can say with the performance that this did, um, I'm, I'm actually really impressed. And considering you can get this for you know 150 to 200 dollars, depending on you know which sale you uh, catch this on, it's going to be well worth the investment. I can say that this is super fine stuff. I mean, it's pretty compact too, and it's pretty wet. So to have the ability to agitate it to knock it up, and then have the suction power to pull it all the way back here, super worth the investment. 
Um, the LED lights help me see the dirt and some of the places in here, uh, at least some of the places on the carpet to know when I was done vacuuming, so that really helped out as well. You know, at the end of the day, this did the job. It had super high performance. You're not going to get the huge price gouge as you would in some of the other manufacturers, so I feel pretty comfortable in that. Uh, I hope this helped you out. If it did, you know, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Go out and go get one of these, and uh, see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.